Hey everyone. This week on the Land Woodworks, I wanted to show a couple different methods on how to perform pitcher transfers. Um, these are the most frequent methods that I use, and this is going to be for laser jet printers, laser jet ink. Um, there are some methods for inkjet, but this is going to be laser jet. So here I have some logos that I use for my projects. I'm just cutting this piece out and I wanna show you, if you have words in your picture, you have to flip it around in whatever picture software you're using, whether it's paint or whatever you're using, you wanna make sure those words are backwards. That way when you do your transfer, it reads the right way. So right here, there's some Liquitex gel medium you can get that at arts and craft stores, um, Amazon, um, and right there I showed a water-based polyurethane. You can get that at a big box store or Amazon again. Um, and here is a wood burner. Um, and when you use a wood burner, you want to make sure that you have this flat tip. Um, and you'll see in a little while why. So here's the gel medium method. It kind of paints on thick because it's a gel. So I'm using a foam brush. Kind of smooth it out there. And I'll take my picture, again, words backwards. And then I'll flatten it out with an old credit card or whatever type of you know, any type of card like that you got laying around. I always keep those. Use them for different projects. So right here, I'm gonna do the water-based poly. And since it's a water base, it's a little bit thinner. And I'll use a regular throwaway chip brush. Paint it on, and then apply my picture to it. So these two methods, the poly and the gel medium, I'll let dry for 24 hours. Um, I've tried to, you know, jump the gun and do it after an hour of the drying, two hours, and it never comes out right. It always ends up peeling the picture off and um, then they have to redo it. Trial and error, I guess, right? Um, and right here uh, is the wood burning method. So I have that flat tip on the wood burner, uh, my laser jet print off, and rubbing the, the wood burner onto the pitcher and not stopping for too long in one spot because it will burn right through the pitcher and you know, you'll have to do it over again, sand it off and do it over again, but constantly move the wood burner and then your picture, picture should come out, you know, halfway decent. Trial and error. If it doesn't come out, then you can always do it again. Just print off a couple extra pictures, whatever you're doing, um, and they sand off easily. It's not a big deal. So usually after the wood burned pictures, I'll spray it with some spray lacquer, you know, just a couple coats just to seal it. That way, if it's on the bottom of a project and it's kind of getting thrown around a little bit, the pitcher won't get um, rubbed off. So here I'm using just water and I'm wetting down the paper. Um, you know, that's the first time I, I heard somebody talk about using a toothbrush for taking the paper off. It does work well, and that is a flat toothbrush. Um, probably, I think it was a soft or medium, it was an old toothbrush. Um, it works great around the sides where it, you know, the pitcher, whether there is no pitcher, but once you are on top of the ink, it's, it's kind of aggressive. And this is not the first take of this gel medium one. I, I actually scraped off most of the pitcher trying it with the toothbrush the first time. So user beware but a little bit of water and lightly rubbing just to get the paper off. 
and that method usually works out pretty well. And there you can see the uh, finished logo gets in focus. That one came out pretty good. And for a sealer for something like this, I would just use either like a, I guess you could probably use gel medium again, but I've gotten good results with using a like Mod Podge. Um, you can get that at a arts and crafts store, or Amazon too. So here's the water-based method, water-based poly, and I'm just rubbing the paper off. Uh, you can see there that I kind of in the corner, I rubbed a little bit of the hand plane, the ink off. Again, trial and error, practice makes perfect, right? So, those are three methods that you could definitely use in your own shop. Um, at home. I've done bigger pictures and I've gotten good results just using the gel medium. Um, and I, usually the smaller pictures, black and white, I'll do with the wood burner. But the gel medium and poly works with colored photos. Uh, the color print off from laser jet works great with black and white photos from laser jet. And here's some old projects. You know, when I was first learning how to do the wood burn transfer an owl magnet for our fridge, wood burned. Um, this was the gel medium transfer picture of my children at the zoo when they were younger. And another uh, wood burned project. So I hope this is some good information for you guys. Uh, maybe you can use it in your next projects. Um, fairly cheap, the wood burner is probably the cheapest but try it out. Thanks for watching guys.